Next is going to be Jacob Cheney. And Jacob's last name is Cheney, C-H-A-N-E-Y. He is 12 years old, and again, I'll let him tell you his name and what church he's from, Jacob Cheney. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Jacob Cheney, and I'm from First Christian Church in Murfreesboro, Arkansas. I just graduated sixth grade. How often do you think you sin on a daily basis? Not at all? A little? A lot? We may sin a lot more than we think we do. I know that I probably sin every day without even realizing it. So if we're all sinners, why should we just stop sinning? Will we be punished? If we're sinning all the time without even realizing, how can we be saved? Second Corinthians says, 10.6 10, says, And we are ready to punish any disobedience once your obedience has been confirmed. Why should we always be obedient to God? There are many people who sin by mistake. There are others who sin for just for fun. God won't leave anyone unpunished who is disobedient to him. When we trust and obey God, we will not die, but have eternal life in heaven. That is the reason God sent Jesus, to die for us and to take away our sin on the cross. We are saved through Jesus Christ. Without him doing that, we are dead in our sin. But Jesus also conquered death by being buried in a tomb and rising three days later. So if we're already saved through Jesus Christ, why should we be obedient to God? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. What happens when we are disobedient to God? When we sin, people may see us and make the same mistakes. Sinning can affect how other people around us act. God doesn't want us to sin. He wants us to obey him and to be kind to our neighbors and love our enemies. For your sins to be forgiven, you need to confess your sins daily, repent against yourself, and know that the Lord loves you. The only reason fr sin first started in the world is because Adam and Eve were tempted by the devil to take the fruit from the tree that God told them not to eat from. Whenever they first disobeyed God, sin was created, and people have been sinners ever since. Nobody thinks about what happens if we aren't obedient. If we don't obey God throughout our life and don't believe in him, we will be punished. The punishment for sin is death. We all deserve death for the sins that we do. However, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. When Jesus died, he also nailed our sins to the cross so that we can be saved through him. And after three days, he rose again from the tomb, showing that we can also rise again. Forty days later, he ascended to heaven to sit at the right hand of the Father. So I ask you again, if we are saved through Jesus Christ, why should we be obedient to God? Wouldn't our sins just be forgiven anyway? Well, almost. God forgives all our sins through Jesus Christ, but repentance is also required for total forgiveness. To be completely forgiven by God, the Bible says you need to confess your sins and trust in Jesus. So don't steal, don't murder, don't curse, don't lie, or do any kind of sin. When we sin, we become further away from God. When we disobey God, it can lead to confusion, conflict, loss, regret, discipline, and severe or deadly consequences. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's more good news. What happens when we are obedient to God? Just like others may follow when we are disobedient, when we do good deeds, the people around us will want to do good things too. For example, if we give someone a gift, they'll want to give you or someone else something as well. Even the smallest thank you is enough to make someone more faithful. Obedience to God means hearing the word of God and following it. When we obey God, we are showing him that we are willing and able to do whatever he asks us to do. And when we believe in God's word and know that he loves us, we will have eternal life with him in heaven. Some ways to be obedient to God is to listen to what he says in the Bible, follow Jesus as his disciple, serve others and be polite, and trust that God's way is best. Obedience can lead to personal growth, freedom, protection from harm, and love. God will bless us with strength, knowledge, happiness, and peace. 
He'll also bless our children and let us be successful. Obedience will draw you closer to God in this way. To get in on the good news, we must follow Jesus and be born again. So whenever we die, if we are obedient and trust in God, we will have eternal life with him in heaven. You should always be obedient, even if you suffer or you're having a hard time. Even Jesus learned obedience when he was whipped and nailed to the cross. Hebrews 5.8 says, Though he was God's son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. We need to always be obedient to God, no matter what happens. When your life isn't going well, you should still be obedient to God. There are times when you're feeling bad and having a rough time, and you want to blame God for it. But don't blame him or anyone else for it. Take the story of Job, for example. Job was a faithful person who followed God and had seven sons, three daughters, 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 oxen, and 500 donkeys. That is a lot of animals. He was righteous and turned away from evil. But then Satan tested Job by asking God to take everything from him, thinking that Job would surely curse to God's face. God agreed. So Job lost his donkeys, sheep, oxen, servants, his children, and he was infected with terrible boils from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. But he never cursed the name of God. Job 1, 20 to 22 says, Then Job stood up, tore his robe, and shaved his head. He fell to the ground and worshipped, saying, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will leave this life. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. Praise the name of Yahweh. Throughout all this, Job did not sin or blame God for anything. We should be more like Job in this story. He lost almost everything he had, but never blamed God for any of it. His wife said, Do you still retain your integrity? Curse God and die. But Job never once cursed God's name. If you, so I say again, if, if you're ever having bad days or life isn't going the way you want it to, you should not blame God for any of it. Another good example is what has happened to me throughout this year. At the end of last year, I broke my leg at school and I had to wear a boot for about a month. I could barely walk for a while, but I never blamed God for doing it. Also, my family recently took a trip to Colorado in the mountains, but I got sick and started throwing up. We had to leave the trip early, but I never thought it was God's fault. I've seen people who blame God for the bad things that have happened to them. So, if you're ever having a hard time, don't accuse God of doing it. God gives and takes away, and he has a reason for all of it. So remember, you should always be obedient to God. Even when nothing is going the way we want it to, we must still follow the word of God. Just like Job did, when we are going through hard times, we should not curse the name of God. When we are disobedient, we are punished. But when we are obedient, we are blessed. We will be blessed with strength, freedom, love, and eternal life in heaven. And our choices can affect other people's choices as well. Romans 5.19 says, For just through one man's disobedience, the many were made sinners. So also through the one man's obedience, the many will be made righteous. Thank you, and God bless you.